All right, kiddos. Here we are. Geometry, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure that you have your paper or notebook and pencil and eraser, right? Ready to get started on these awesome notes. All right, guys. So we always start with identifying the name of our notes, right? These notes are called the midpoint formula. Right. So we're going to work with the midpoint, right? Obviously, it says in the notes, midpoint formula. So let's look at our first part of our notes here. All right? Let me make this a little smaller. And our first part of the notes say the halfway point of a segment is called the midpoint, right? So we have two points. We have A and we have B. Right dead center is called the midpoint, MP, right? Dead center between the two points is MP. That's the midpoint. So what's going to happen is that we're going to use these corners right here, the ends. We're going to use the ends to find the dead center right in the middle, right? And I know what you're thinking. Right? Whenever you want to find the center of an orange, the center of an apple, right, you cut it in half, right? You cut it in half. And what is the mathematical equivalency of cutting something in half? He's dividing it into what? Exactly, you divide something into two, right? When you're cutting a piece of fruit, you divide it into two. When you have a piece of licorice and you want to share it with a friend and you want both of you to have the same amount, you snap it into two, right? You break it into two, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. Look at this, right? So we're going to take two points and we're going to take the X's of that point and we're going to add the X's and we're going to divide them by two. Then, comma, we're going to add the Y's together and we're going to divide them by two. And we're going to find the midpoint, right? And this right here, kiddos, is the midpoint formula. X plus X divided by two, comma, Y plus Y divided by two. Right? So that's what we're going to use for our examples. So, our first example here, which is actually number two, right? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to always, 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 we're going to read our instructions. Find the midpoint of each line segment, right? And it's a segment because it's got endpoints, right? From here to here. That's a segment because it's got, it starts here and it ends here, right? Now, we can eyeball where the middle is of this, right? It's kind of like right here, it's probably in the middle, right? But we don't have to guess. Now, if the points were here, oops, let me use pencil here. If the points were here and here, and this is the line segment, well, that's easy, right? The middle is right there. That's easy. But the segments aren't always that easy. This is just like this one here. So let us find, everybody, our midpoint. So we have this point here and we have this point here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to identify these points. Right? So what is this point here? So let's not forget that this is our X, which goes left and right. And this is our Y, which goes up and down. So this point right here is we go from here and we go one. To, so we start here in the center, right? 
And to get there, to get over here, we go left, one, two, three, four, five. So we went left five, so it's negative five, right? Left five, and then we go from here, this is where we left off, we go down one, right? Which is negative one. And that's our first point right there. Negative five, negative one. And let me get a jump and say this is X and this is Y, right? Just so I know. All right, next let's do this point here. Let me show you a different way to do that, okay? So let me pick here and let me do this one here. So where is that on the Y? Well, that's two. So that's positive two. And where is it on the, I'm sorry, on the X? What am I thinking? You guys are probably thinking, why did it say Y? Right, two. And what about on the Y? Negative four. Right? So this is two comma negative four. So let me erase this guy here just to avoid confusion. So this is two, two on the X, negative four on the Y, okay? Two, negative four. And it works, it would have worked here too. So this is five on the X, negative five on the X, and negative one on the Y. Right. So again, this is X and Y. So we have my X and we have our XY and we have our XY. See? XY and we have our XY. So let us use our midpoint formula. X plus X divided by 2. So X plus X x plus x so x plus x divided by 2 well our first x here is negative 5 our second x is 2 so negative 5 plus 2 let's not forget our divided by 2 part so, negative 5 plus 2 are not the same sign, so I subtract 5 minus 2 is 3. And that's a negative 3 because 5 is bigger and 5 is a negative, right? So, negative 3 divided by 2. So, the work in the um, worksheet is going to ask you to reduce in decimal, to write it in decimal. So, negative 3 divided by 2. What is negative 3 divided by 2? Well, Thankfully, I have my calculator here, all right? So I'm going to say negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5. There you go. So negative 1.5. So that's my x. All right? Now, let's do our y. Well, our y also says y plus y divided by 2. Okay, so let's do it over here on the bottom y plus y divided by 2. Well, that equals 2. Let's see. y is negative 1. y is negative 4. Okay. Negative 1 plus negative 4 over 2, right? I can't forget the over 2 part. Well, this negative 1 and negative 4 are the same signs, so I'm going to add them. 4 and 1 is 5. And it's a negative 5 because 4 is bigger and 4 is a negative. Can't forget 2. So, negative 5 divided by 2, let us use our trusty calculator here. Negative 5 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2 over 5. So, negative 2.5, I'm sorry. So, my midpoint is... 
x comma y. What did I get for x? Negative 1.5. I actually should have put here x and y. So my x is negative 1.5 comma my y is negative 2.5. There you go. That is my midpoint right there. This one here. This is my midpoint. Negative one and a half, comma, negative two and a half. And let's actually see if this works here. So negative one and a half, I would go, so negative one and a half would be here, negative one and a half would be here, negative two and a half would be here, so right there would be my midpoint. Right. Oh, pretty good. Right. There we go. That's how we do that kind of problem with a graph. All right. Now these are relatively small numbers right here. Negative five, negative one, two comma negative four. All right. Pretty small numbers. But which we which which could fit in the graph. All right? Pretty good. Now let us look at number one here. Look at these ginormous numbers. Hell no, I'm not gonna draw a graph with those numbers. My god, I'd be drawing little dashes for days should we try let's see this has 604 so I have to draw 604 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. no way no way All right no way so this is where this baby right here kicks in and this will help us out so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify our x and y. So x comma y, just like that, and x comma y, just like that. Look at that. So let us find x first, right? x is equal to x plus x divided by 2, right? So what are our two x's? Our two x's are 604 and 473. 604 plus 473 divided by 2. Right. Can't forget the divided by 2 part. Right. Divided by 2. Divided by 2. Is equal to... Right. Let us use our trusty calculator again. Let, now let me show you a trick. Now we have to add the tops first. So look what I'm going to do. Parentheses, six, O, oh, parentheses, six, O, oh, four, plus four, seven, three, close parentheses. The whole thing divided by two. Look at that. 538.5. Look at that, All right? That is advanced use of our calculator, everybody. And you guys got this. 538.5 is equal to X. X is equal to 538.5. Right. So let's find our Y now. Y, well, I know Y is Y plus Y divided by two, right? Because I'm finding the middle, the average, the midpoint. That's a terrible two, better two. So what is our Y's? 238, negative 861. 238 plus negative 861 divided by two. Okay, so again, let us use what we have. Let us use our tools, our scientific calculator, which is in Schoology. You know that, right? Okay. 
So parentheses, 238, 238, plus negative 861, negative 861, close parentheses, divided by 2 is negative 311.5, negative 311.5. Point five. Look at that. This is our y. Y is equal to negative three hundred eleven point five. So our midpoint is equal to x comma y. Well, my x is equal to five thirty eight point five. Five thirty eight. Point five comma my y y is equal to negative three eleven point five negative three eleven point five point cinco right now that would have been a nightmare doing it in the graph but thankfully we have our our midpoint formula right right. And there you go, kiddos. That's what that looks like. So make sure that you graphed. Make sure that you take took notes. Make sure you paid attention. Make sure you rewinded it if you needed to. Make sure you paused if you needed to, right? And now you know how to do this. You guys got this. Let me put a box. Always, always box your answers, right? Make sure you show all the work, right? This is the kind of work that I want to see in your assignment and get full credit kick butt and i really appreciate you guys being here and watching my video lesson